which I hate, and the thrones they sit on, and the Hector of France to the Cully of Britta. Which is damn good, though, Johnny. Of course it's good. That's not the point. The point is, he couldn't appreciate it. It took me nearly an hour to write it, just to please him. Three months in the fucking country at the height of the season. Missed all the good plays. Boring old Rowley. We love you, Johnny. Give us a stanza, and we'll laugh in the king's place. To Etheridge, I drink a pledge. His life has run the gamut. He's penned not good, since she would if she could. He would if he could, but he can. Oh. Well, Johnny, it is a damn well said thing, but it ain't true, you see. Oh, but it is true, Georgie. You think you can still enjoy the town's esteem for something you wrote seven years ago. You can't be promising forever, George. Sooner or later, you must do something. But that's what I'm saying. I have written a new play. Oh, written a new play, has he? All those afternoons, he was pretending to slope off and Roger his mistress like a decent chap. He was lurking in his rooms, poking away at a play that is disgusting, George. Disgusting and shameful. What's it about your play? Set on Dryden. Fox at Dryden. It's about you. And in your play, do you tell the truth about me? Well, I've attempted to show you. Yes. This. Well, I enjoy your company. You've made me endearing. Well, only the Don't smarm around, George. You're an endearing sort of chap. So you haven't told the truth. Good. I want to be frightening people. <laughs> <laughs>